let's uh, solder some wires together. You'll find yourself needing to do this occasionally, whether it's solid wire like I've got here or uh, stranded wire. And um, let's uh, get down to business, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is uh, we want a good mechanical connection, okay? I have also got this little piece of shrink tubing. You can buy this at like Harbor Freight electronic stores. You can also get it at some of your box stores. Uh, but you want this shrink wrap tubing. You can use electrical tape, but I prefer this stuff. This will go over the wire. And then once we uh, make the connection, we'll, we'll roll it back over it and we'll... Um, We'll uh, heat it up and it'll shrink over that and make a ins nice insulated connection. Okay, So the first thing I'm going to work on is creating a good mechanical connection with what I have. So I'm just going to twist this wire around a few times and uh, like that and make a good mechanical connection. And I want to also make sure that these wires aren't poking out. Right? We, want them, we don't want them poking through that uh, that. Uh, heat shrink okay and I'm using my helping hands it's a nice little tool that will hold the wire in place for us and I've got my soldering iron and some solder now I could put this on but since I have um, the other ends are free sometimes you forget to put this on I can slide it on afterwards and I'm gonna do that okay otherwise I could put it on and, and leave it right there so what I'm going to do and I make sure my tip is clean, right? And if I need to clean my tip, put a little solder on it, douse it in my uh, wire brush, just kind of keep the tip nice and clean so it's ready to do some good soldering, okay? All right, so for this job, I'm gonna try my flux just to help the solder flow a little better. This would probably be more important with uh, some stranded wire. But the concept's the same. If I get a little bit of flux on there, that, that solder will flow around my joint. Okay, I want a good joint. I want solder all the way around it. And that's one of the things you have to be careful with when soldering wire. Sometimes you get wire uh, solder just in one place and it's not wrapped all the way around. So let's just feed some solder. Look how nice that, because of that flux, it's just flowing everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over just turn this wire over and make sure it looks good on the other side well I'm gonna flow some more solder just to make a just make it a little bit better connection uh, it's pretty good uh, there's nothing wrong with that solder joint but I'll just make it a good connection all the way across okay you don't want to gob the solder but you want a good nice connection all right now that is solid. That is not going anywhere. Look at that. Beautiful job. Okay. That flux helped it a little bit to just really flow nicely that solder around. All right. Next step, I'm going to put on the shrink wrap tubing and take it over the top and try to center it. Now my little um, um, soldering station, this is the 898D Plus I got off of Amazon, has a little heat gun on it. And I'm going to use that to, to shrink the tubing around it. As that heats up, that'll just form a nice, good bond. It's that simple. Okay. Now I have a two wires soldered together, shrink wrapped. It's nice. It's not going anywhere. And it looks like a real professional job.